previously on Fran Bao. Are you... Are you... Oh, jeez. Oh, there you are, you bad thing. He brought us home. We're outside of town, friend. But I know where it, the key's hidden somewhere. I just need to remember where. Oh, Mr. Midnight, we're home. Can you even believe it? This journey has gone on for so long. Anyone home? Door won't open without the key. I have to find it. Is it in one of the flower pots? Maybe it's under? Oh, I'm sorry, little insects. Don't run away. Oh. Well, put it down. Put it down, friend. Well, maybe this one. Ugh. Poor insects. It's just their home. <gasps> ah, what is this? A note? It says, I took the key. Signed, Fran. Fran? That's me. What'd you do, Fran? Well, let's, uh, let's climb these vines. I see an open window. Come here, kitty. You must climb and go through the window. I couldn't find the key. It seems I already took it. You already took the key? But you don't have it. That sounds very strange. Yeah, it is strange. I only found a note that I don't remember writing. But now in order to get inside, kitty, you must climb and open the door for me. Ah. <sighs> All right. Wish me luck. You can do it, kitty. Be careful. It's a good thing cats are such good climbers. Like, look at that skill. In you go. Hmm. What should we do in the meantime? Door? Mr. Midnight. Do you hear me, kitty? Open the door. What's this? My psychiatrist. Fran? I can't believe this! You're alive! Where were you? Get away from me! I won't go back to the asylum! I've been looking for you for a long time now. How did you escape? Uh... I escaped through the yellow door, sir. Huh. But why are you outside the house? Well, I don't have a key, but... Mr. Midnight in is inside now, so... He climbed and went to the window. On the second floor, sir. Mr. Midnight? Isn't that your missing cat? Yes. But we found each other in the end. Sir, may I ask why you're here? I came to meet with Miss Grace. I have something very important to tell her. I think she's not home, sir. Well, it may be better this way. You'll have to come with me, then. No! I won't leave my kitty again. Let's wait until he opens the door. Fran, I don't believe your cat's inside the house. That's impossible. I'm telling you the truth. He's inside. He will open the door in a minute. Stop it, Fran. Face reality. Your cat is... dead. You must come with me now. Run, Fran, run! No! Oh. But... No. No. I'm sorry, Fran. I don't want to hurt or scare you. I'm just worried about Mr. Midnight, sir. You made me leave him. Is he really alive? Of course he is, sir. Why would I lie about it? This feels so wrong. <sighs> you know, friend, I was fired from the asylum because I knew too much. I've found things that I don't understand yet. I really thought you were dead. Look at these documents. Family murder on Hayes Street. The bodies were perfectly sliced. Ugh. Martin and Lucia Bo... Doggart, not Bo, were found early this week, brutally murdered in their residence on Hayes Street. Right, we know that. Fran witnessed it. The investigating police officer, Marco Holma, said, 
It seems that the bodies were perfectly sliced, which would cause a quick, instantaneous death. Also, there were no signs of a struggle in the house, so the victims must have been caught completely by surprise and were unable to fight back. The police interrogated, interrogated Grace Dunghart, Lucia's twin sister, but the police didn't find any useful information. The youngest in the family, Frambeau, was found in the woods one day after her parents' murder. She froze to death. Well, clearly not. Dear Gladys, let the newspaper know about Frambeau. She was found in the woods, frozen to death. She ran away from her home after finding about her parents' murder. Beloved Frambeau, friend is now free from all pain. We hope you reunite with your family in heaven. Something's wrong here. They found someone. They found someone. Hmm. Oh, Mommy. I recognize your hand. Who told her to lie to about me? I'm not dead. Did you have an identical twin sister? I'm noticing that theme. But I'm not dead, sir. This is all lies. I see that. I also found out about your medicine was switched. You were given a new variant of duotine. When I looked at it in the laboratory, the levels of echo platinum were too high. That can't be good. Ooh, we... We took the whole bottle, sir. <laughs> Echo Plaquemum creates a door between the subconscious and the consciousness. The problem is, if the Echo Plaquemum is too high, the door will be too wide. And that can create a great confusion in your brain. A great confusion in my brain? I am a bit confused, yes. But... That's because of all the new things I can see and feel. What do you mean, friend? I can see the ultra reality, sir. I also travel into other worlds. <clears throat> friend, we need to talk about when you say too much, it comes out as cuckoo crazy, and that's why you wound up in the asylum and... Now you're going back because you could go crazy sounding. Ultra reality? Hmm. That must be the consequences of the duotine. Nothing more. That's not true. If I had some more medicine, I could show you. I don't need the medicine anymore. Or you don't need the medicine anymore. Besides, it's all in your head, Fran. All in my head, you say? <laughs> then I may be able to control it. I mean, that you are imagining things. That's all. Oh! I tried to tell my mother the truth, but father would harm her as well. Don't want my father playing with the knife again. My arm hurts. Did your father harm you with his knife, Doctor? What? Who told you that? You did. Or you didn't, sir. I haven't said anything about it. Oh my goodness, and it's true! Oh please, let's focus. But you're not listening to me, sir! We need to find out the truth. I wonder who's all behind this? The nurses? Oswald? Who knows? Oswald? Hmm. I do know, sir. It's the big black monster, Remoir. He took my parents, and now he haunts, hunts me. He wants me dead. Oh, I wish I had stayed in the Thirsta with Palantris and the Great Wizard. What are you talking about? Please, friend, I'm serious. I never said goodbye to Edward or, or Palantris, and my kitty is all alone. Palantris? Edward? Please, Fran. Palatris is the doctor of a Thirsta, and he's a flying creature. Very fluffy, sir. And Itward is my faithful friend. He brought me home with his machine. It seems you've been living inside of a fairy tale. Well, that's...
kind of true. It wasn't good all the time, sir. The twins are gone because of me. I saw myself killing Mr. Midnight. I saw mother and father, too. The twins? What twins? The girls that were attached to each other. Attached, you say? That reminds me of the Clara and Mia case. Two girls in the asylum that claimed to see a creature named Edward or something like that. Edward? I think you are misunderstanding, sir. It's it word. But what happened to those girls? Dr. Oswald was experimenting on them. He, uh... He sewed them together. Ugh. Mostly to see the reactions of the DNA, but nothing happened. A few months later, they died and their bodies were thrown into a well. That is awful, sir. You can't take me back to the asylum. Don't worry, I, I won't. I brought you with me so that you can help me. Oh. Well. Alright, sir. Um, I'm. You have my attention. Maybe we can find something that will lead us to those responsible for all this disgrace. Thank you, Doctor. Maybe Polytris was right about you. You're not a bad doctor. You're just an old man following the rules. Following the rules? Well, not tonight. Well, here we are. Oh, I miss Mr. Midnight wandering around. But this is the cemetery, sir. What are we doing here? You'll see. Come on, follow me. No. Well, I don't know what secrets or information we're gonna find in the cemetery, but I am a little worried about this. This is your parents' resting place. And also yours. Oh, are you the ghost of Christmas future or something? Why bring me here? I don't understand. I'm sorry, friend. But things are how they are. Your parents were killed. Knowing who killed them can help us make things right. What do you mean by right, sir? I mean that if we can find the guilty ones, we will have justice. Use the law to punish such behaviors and prevent others from being harmed. I understand, sir. And for what did you need my help? Find clues and evidence. We need to open the coffins. Okay, you really aren't following the rules tonight, are you? All right, lend me a shovel. Let's dig up the corpse of my parents. All right, sir, I'll help. Mabel the Deedle Worms came already. Huh. Oh yeah, those guys. Who? Anyway, we have to find shovels to dig. I'll go left, you can go right. I'll see you in a few minutes, right here. Alright? Yes, Dr. Dearn. Dearn, Dearn, Dearn. I'll see you soon. Hello, Mother. Hello, Father. And perhaps twin sister? Mm, don't know. Wow. Oh, oh the lovely little bear. You must take care of my parents. Rambo, huh? I wonder who came up with a lie like this one. Mommy, this is very hard. Knowing you're not around anymore. Hello, father. I knew you didn't choose to leave me. So I'm not angry at you anymore, but I miss you a lot. I promise I will ha be happy. It's not fair. Thank you for all the beautiful memories, Daddy. I'll love you forever. That really makes me feel lost in the world. But I promise I'll do my best. I'll be happy, Mommy. I love you so much, Mommy. And I always will. Goodbye. Now I remember seeing myself dead in the asylum. But 
But why? Why just me? I know the big monster wants me dead. What does the asylum have to do with the monster? A little candle to keep my parents warm. Uh, this is a little perplexing, unless Fran has a twin sister. I wonder what the lady has hidden between her hands. Is it a little bug? <laughs> Very cute. Uh, she's praying, Fran. Wait. Wait. I have a theory. Oh, well, I'm gonna take that crowbar. And <laughs> can we can we drive home? Just jack the car? No? Okay. It's probably clutch. I don't know how to drive a clutch. I'm a little worried as to the doctor's motives. What if he is uh, not being honest? And perhaps uh, we are going to wind up in that grave. It's stuck. It must be the shovel storage room. There must be a way to open it. I suspect there is. Oh, we... <gasps> Mr. Pinecone! Shh! You have to keep it down, Fabio. Oh, I'm not Fabio. I'm Fran. Hello, little pinecone. What? Oh, my goodness. A giant! Oh, please don't be scared. I won't harm you. I thought no giants could see us. <laughs> I think I can see you because I have very big eyes, you see. Oh, I see. Well, I'm Sebastian, by the way. The tribe's collector. The tribe's collector? Huh? That sounds exciting. Right now, we're trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for the mating ritual. Oh, that's quite interesting. Shiny leather, huh? Yes, last year we used old human skin, but the Dieter Worms wanted it back. So we're looking for something more. Synthetic. Well, I hope you can find the leather. Uh, Sebastian, would you do me a favor? It depends on the favor, giant miss. I was thinking you could open the door for me, f from inside. I could do that, but we can help each other instead. Bring me a piece of leather, and I'll open the door. All right, giant miss? But where will I ever find that? <laughs> All right, I'll see what I can do. Giant leather, huh? You know, we never did take a close look at this. Hmm, wonder what would happen if you find the key. Well, I, the only place where I can think of, whether it be synthetic leather, would be uh, the leather seats in this car. Car seats are quite comfortable. He wouldn't mind. We, it's for the greater good. Whoops! What a big hole I made! Well, I have the leather now. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure he'll be fine with it. It's only leather seats. You know, cheap stuff. <laughs> you are adorably horrific. Wow, thank you, giant miss. Our tribe, the Pinezillus, will be happy. And now, I'll open the door. Just a second. All right there. Ouch! You all right, Sebastian? Sebastian? Uh, I'm all right, miss. Yes. Oh, good. Thank you. Can you open the door? Also, it's not lost on me that there are pine cones back here. You're welcome, giant miss. Oh, Fabio. Later, Fabio. Oh, I have to go, miss. Good night. Hey, Fabio, wait for me! I've got the leather! Well, 
Peace out, boys. Girls, whatever. Hmm, there's nothing in here I could use. This is not wonderful at all. Well, that is a big ol' waste of time, isn't it? There you are, friend. Look, I found a pair of shovels. Let's dig. Oh, wow. You came in useful in there. Well, time to... Some manual labor something something. I don't... Oh, jeez. The grave. The corpse is very shallow. Well... Now I have to come up with something to open the coffins. They're stuck. I had a crowbar in my car just in case, but I couldn't find it. Oh, I took the crowbar, sir. I needed it to open a door. You want it back? No need, friend, but you can do the honors of opening the coffins. Alright, sir. I'll open them. He says with some ease. Let's open our coffin. I'm not in the coffin, great! But... That can't be my kitty. It's Mr. Midnight's home! Poor kitty, I wonder if he had a name. Well, I'll name you Albert. No. Oh, mother. You're so skinny. A bit too much, I'd say. But I guess you'd take that as a compliment, wouldn't you? Is the bed comfortable? Well, sweet dreams, mommy. Oh my goodness, father. The Dita worms took your eyes. I wish you could talk and tell me who took you away from me. It was the big bad monster, daddy. Oh my goodness. Did you see anything that could bring us closer to the killer? No, sir. I just feel really bad for doing this, seeing my parents like this. Also, that dead cat's not my cat! They're lying! Fran, I told you. Your cat was missing, and maybe this one's actually your cat. It can't be, sir. I did find my kitty. You have to believe me. Take me home, and I'll show you, please. Alright, Fran. I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. I still need to find some clues. Thank you, sir. Let's go. I'm just gonna leave them exposed to the air like this? Well... Folks, I'm very sorry you're in this state. If I could look into the ultra realities right now, I would. No! No! Vanished into the hands of darkness. You have no manners! I'm not afraid of you anymore. I've taken away from you the light. The one you love, the one you respect, and the one you desire to love you. No. Remoir. You bastard. You broken little girl. The House of Madness invites you inside. No, I can't go back. If you want to find those you love, in darkness you must wake up. Wake up now, friend. Wake up! <laughs> <laughs>